Hello everybody, this is a virtual tour that I'm going to do for you of Rodway Farm, part of Bridgewater and Taunton College. Uh, the most important bit of our farm really is our biosecurity centre. Okay, not many places have got one of these. Um, we have lots of visitors as well as the students, you know, lots of industry and trade people coming through here. Uh, so we make everybody who comes onto our farm go through this facility. I have to scan myself in because it's all secure. Okay, so in here, Okay, so this is our change facilities. So we've got changing rooms for females, males, just an example in here. Okay, so there is lockers provided here, shelving and hanging areas for boots, and there's a shower in the corner as well. Okay, staff room, boots area, hand washing areas at the end there. This room here is our briefing room. So some of you would have been here before. Anybody who's had a farm tour, for example, might have watched a small presentation in here, normally sort of machine related. Okay, uh, so many practical sessions that the students go on will start in this room. So there'll be uh, targets set for the students and a brief outline of what will be required of them on the session. As you can see, lots and lots of risk assessments. Okay, so everything is thought about, everything is taken care of before the students and other visitors make our way onto the farm. Okay, lots of high vis. Things there so everybody's safe and as I said before, lots of hand washing facilities there and lots of toilet facilities. Okay, so for the second part of the tour, I'm in the main cubicle building. Uh, you can see the biosecurity centre over my shoulder behind me, so just literally just a quick walk across the yard I'm here. Obviously a very important building for us. We are primarily a dairy farm, you know, milk is our biggest enterprise. So if you just look over my shoulder here, you can see some of the highs right next to us. The other part of this shed is the lows. The shed has now been split down right through the middle, Highs one side, lows on the other, primarily just to differentiate the um, energy necessity in the, in the diet. Okay. Um, so that might uh, be some news to some of our previous students who have just finished, or the ones that are returning in September. Uh, so when you come back, things will be set up slightly different, okay? because uh, it's very important our students do know what's going on out here, because doing their farm work experience, okay, all the cows on all the cubicles behind me, they will all be pushed out into the collecting yard by students, all of the slurry will be scraped away, and all of the uh, sanitizer and shavings, etc., will be replenished by them. They're also encouraged to look for signs of heat, you know, any signs of ill health and anything like that. So it's a really, really good learning facility. Okay, I'm just gonna turn around a minute. Um, try not to make them be too seasick. So you can see over my shoulder there's a couple of cows in this pen behind us. So these are dry cows. Okay, so these are the uh, transition group. Okay, so these ones are very, very close to calving. Uh, it's a nice place to put them, it's a high traffic area, so we can always keep an eye on them, so obviously any signs of calving, we can help them out straight away. Uh, another change around now for anybody who's been here before, so the bull has been sold, the bull is gone, and his pen is being used for some younger heifers now. These are the next group to be served, okay, so these aren't bulling heifers yet, but in a couple of weeks time they'll be moving on to the next pen where they will be. Okay, so as soon as they're deemed uh, old enough, heavy enough, and well enough to be served, they will be served, okay? And uh, we'll move on to that next pen now, as you can see over my shoulder. So these here are the bullying heifer group. Okay, so we've got locking hedge oaks in that section there, which is uh, so the vet can um, scan anything he wants to and anything can be served. If we don't want to pick them out to serve them, we can do them in here also. Lots of uh, handling facilities on the farm for everything from tail trimming, you know, all the cows have got collars on, that's all done by the students, okay? Any routine vet and meds that the animals have is all carried out by the students, you know. Our students get a really, really good practical hands-on experience here and uh, they always learn a lot from it, which is brilliant. Turns them all into very, very employable people. Okay, so yeah, that's it for now. Any questions, please ping us a message. Okay, so we just have a very quick walk through this next shed. So this is the old cubicle shed. Uh, anybody who's you know, my age, 40 plus, who was a student here, we remember milking in the corner over there, you can just see the old office up above the cows there where the windows are, the old viewing gallery as well. Okay, uh, so this shed now just houses some dry cows. Okay, so we've got in-calf heifers on this side here. Okay, and then just some uh, the further away dry cows on the right-hand side. So as these cows get closer to calving, they will move up to the transition group okay, where we can keep a closer eye on them, okay. Okay, so I'm now in the calf shed. Uh, we've got uh, four main calf pens, which is like the one behind me, so this is pen number one. So there's seven Holstein heifer calves in there, okay, and they will all stay in the herd, you know, as long as we can get them in calf, they will stay on our farm. Um, it might be quite noisy in here, if you can hear that. If you can look 
above my shoulder you can see we've got a ventilation tunnel there so it's blowing in fresh air through here all the time now these calves here are fed on the feed stations here so these are fed automatically by a computer now how long they're fed for and how much they have is up to us it also weighs them okay so all the calves have got a collar on so it tells us how much they've had to drink and it will work out their daily live weight gain which is a fantastic tool for us and for the students we have got um, an electronic weigher as well, so we do regularly check their weights, make sure the machine's working properly, and make sure we're happy with their growth rates. Before the calves come into this pen, because they would probably be about four days old when they come in here, they will be kept in pairs. Okay, so we have to keep our calves in pairs. We keep them in pairs, and they're fed um, colostrum for the first two feeds. The next six feeds will be a mixture of colostrum and milk powder together, just to sort of help any uh, transition between the two different milks there, okay? Um, when the calves have been weaned off, okay, it's fantastic because the machine will wean them off for us. You know, it's, re it's really, really quiet in here. There's, no, there's normally a hive of activity in here. Obviously, there's no students here at the moment. Uh, see, so this pen is completely empty, which is very unusual for us. And then over my other shoulder, you can see, so this is what happens when the calves get weaned off. They basically just get moved across to the other side of the shed and they just work their way down through. And as you can also see, Another ventilation shaft there is a fantastic tool. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you know, anyone who's my sort of vintage might remember this used to be a pig shed many moons ago. Um, we have a few pigs here, occasionally for you know, educational needs, and we provide some training from some outside people with those as well. Okay. Any questions, or if there's anything I haven't shown you, I haven't shown you everything, if there's anything you do want to see, please ping us a message. Good luck, stay safe, see you in September. Okay, so I'm now stood at the back of the milking parlour, looking in as the cows would, as they would come into milk. You can just see up in the air there, there's two fans in here, okay, because it does get hot in here. Okay, and it also helps keep the flies down. Got um, an automatic backing gate here, okay, so this helps to keep the cows up to the back of the milking parlour. And it also helps with when we bring the next group of cows in, such as the, the lows, and it stops them getting mixed up with the highs. Our French students would refer to that as an electric dog. Okay, so I'm just coming down the steps into the pit here, so you can see up to the right, those are the controls for the backing gate. And you see every cow will have its own little display box like this, so it will tell us uh, if for any reason the milk's not going in a bulk tank, it will put them on the hold. It tells us what number they are, and if they're being um, picked out, or if we want to pick them out, we can do that in here. It will tell us the time, you know, there's lots and lots and lots of different functions. So we can get 20 cows on either side, and we can milk all 40 of them at once. The floor moves up and down, which is quite helpful because we have lots and lots of different shapes and bodies of people in here. The parlour is very long, as I'm sure those of you who have milked in here will know, but it does need to be because during term time, as I mentioned before, the farm work experience, there will be a lot of people in here. So it will be traditionally um, one second year student will be supervising two first year students, plus there will always be a member of staff in here as well. Okay, so it does look very long. And it, and it is, you know, this is not an optical illusion. Okay, lots of nice rubber matting on the floor here just to help the cow's feet as they come out and turn around, which takes us on to the automatic shedding system. Okay, so we can shed cows three ways here automatically. And then we've got the two automatic foot baths at the end there, which some of you might have seen in some past posts on our Instagram page. Okay, so there's one more thing that I couldn't get away without showing you, and that's our Agricultural Innovation Centre. Okay, so this is where the inside lessons take place. Now, I'm just gonna walk through and give you a quick tour of this as if there are no COVID-19 restrictions, okay? Because we're not 100% sure what's happening, you know, with our weekly updates. I'm just gonna give you a tour as it is now. Okay, it's got, coming to the lobby, lobby area here. Okay, lots of automatic doors. So on the left, the first protocol is the reception. Okay, so any issues, there's also the staff room, if there's any problems, any issues, Please come and ask for some help. Uh, some journals here, lots of paperwork there, notices sometimes here, uh, sheets for changing farm work experience, etc. I'm just gonna show you a couple of rooms. So these rooms are secure, so just gotta beep in. So this is room one. Okay, this is our computer suite. It's a bit dark in here. Uh, so lots of computers. There's also laptops that are normally available as well. And as you can see, lots of periodicals in the corner as well, which are updated weekly or monthly, depending on what they are. Lots of lockers here. Okay, so people can leave bags, etc., here and be safe. Two of these small little rooms here, which are sometimes used for group work, um, individual tutorials, etc. 
Okay, some of you recognise a um, safe stop poster up there in the corner. We do, we're very keen on that, obviously being machinery minded. Um, lots of pictures here. Okay, I'm just gonna show you another room here. So this is room six. This room gets used a lot because, uh, well, it's a nice bright airy room for a start. This wall in the middle here at the back, that does open up so we can put room six and seven together. So anybody who's seen guest speakers here, or when we do have guest speakers come back, um, other big presentation work, uh, we open it all up and it's a really nice space. Okay, so this is room 16, which is the lab. Okay, so lots of animal anatomy lessons, etc., taking place in here. Soil testing and sampling, etc. Okay, lots and lots of facilities in here. Okay, I'm just going to go and show you something that's very important to a lot of our students, which is our canteen and eating facilities. So, a couple of notice board there, pictures of what's happening and what's going along. Farm work experience notice board there. It's obviously very popular with the students. HE, okay, so we do offer a lot of HE courses as well. Check the website out if you're interested in that. So, as you can see, not how it would normally look, but all the chairs are up on the tables at the moment. A couple of computers in here at either end, so people can come and down here and do work if they wish to. This dresser has normally got all the cutlery on it, etc. Condiments. Young farmers and a jobs notice board there. So, uh, Rodby Young Farmers have been particularly active the last couple of years, so hopefully that can continue. We get people asking us all the time and people um, you know, asking us to put a job advert up for them. We get people that want staff all the time. Okay, so it's another advantage of coming to college. It does help your employment prospects. Just some students work up on the wall there. Nice little area there for if you want to dine outside and outside the other door. Smoking area there. And so this door's locked, so I can't go out there. And there is also a exercise area there. Okay, thank you very much. Goodbye.